Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Every fall as the weather turns cold, the fall invaders come looking for a place to stay. Your house looks fantastic. Southeast Termite and Pest Control can make your house not fantastic for the fall invaders. I do this treatment every year. I'm telling you, it works. It does wonders. Uh, Southeast Termite and Pest Control, that's who I use. That's who you should use. Find them at southeasttermite.com. Okay, a couple of quick questions here for you guys. Tennessee has done well versus running backs, poorly versus running quarterbacks all season. Now, we've discussed in the last set. You agree that that was part of they picked their poison and said we're going to let him run, run, right. throw? Okay. Uh, but they've still had problems with running quarterbacks. Explain to people, if you can stop the running backs, how come you can't stop the quarterbacks? It's, it's an extra guy. It's an extra guy. Uh, one more guy you got to count for as far as uh, this guy's able to hurt you and get out of the backfield. Uh, and that's that's tough to do, uh, and that's the reason why earlier I said, Mr. Simons, defensive line wise, hold your gap. Uh, that's the way they break it down. And, and, and also, I mean, you're, and you're running pass rush, right? Your job is to get upfield fast, mm -hmm. and to be uncontrolled to get there fast. Otherwise, you're never going to get to the quarterback. And so, all of a sudden, you got a running quarterback. Well, now, which one do you lose on? Not getting a pass rush and playing for him, or getting a pass rush and then losing contain occasionally? I've seen the best way to do this. They, when they ran games and they had the guy coming back inside, it died it down a little bit. Uh, but you can't do that the whole time because you can't get a pass rush then. But the other way is just you have to have that athletic, fast as lightning linebacker that's spying. And we don't have that 4-4 guy that's a yeah. good coverage guy that you could put as a spy. That's your negating factor is that guy's got to have a good game. Uh, and, you know, listen, you're still going to play a talented quarterback and he's going to make some plays at times against you. Especially no, that guy. Yeah, right there's just, there, he's going to get his. Yeah. It's just limiting him at times. All right, Daniel, I'm going to start this next segment with you. All right. The next question with you. All right. Uh, because in, you and Sterling came from different eras. Right. Totally. There's been a lot of talk from fans who want to see the Tennessee-Alabama rivalry ixnayed. Once Oklahoma and Texas come into the league, you change the schedules. Why don't we have to play Alabama every year? Now, I grew up a Tennessee fan. That, that's still the number one rivalry to my old head. Right. Uh, I, and I, not to mention the fact I would never want to say, take them off their schedule. They're too mean. Uh, that's, you know, that's pathetic. But you might have a different view on that. <laughs> Tell me what your view is. Florida's your big rivalry, yeah, I guess, Florida. more than Alabama. Would you have a problem with Tennessee said bye-bye to Alabama on a yearly basis. I think i got to separate this to where my heart is, where my mind is. If I'm, a, if I'm a business guy at UT and this is about generating wins, generating excitement, right now you probably do want to take Alabama off and maybe play them every other year, every two years, something like that. But where my heart's at, even though I grew up, Florida was a team, we hated Spur, we wanted to go against them, and that type of stuff. You play in that first Alabama game and it becomes real. You realize what that rivalry is you realize what it's like Marlon was playing in the game where we, Kiffin goes down and, and loses 12 to 10. We got to play there when Derek Dooley had us tied up at the half at 6-6. You learn really quickly that's one of those games that you actually come to Tennessee yeah. for and so where my heart's always going to be like man I want to keep it but when I'm making a business decision that's it may be one to slide under. You cavalierist that question <laughs> but but I like it. Look, I, 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 that's pretty good. That's a, that's a good that's good cavaliersing, Chuck. Uh, Sterling, would, how would you feel about Tennessee getting Alabama off the schedule? I don't think it should ever happen. The third <laughs> Saturday in October is a national holiday in college football. Or the fourth this year. Or the fourth this yeah, year. And yeah. It bounces every now and then. Yeah. But it's the third Saturday in October. Tennessee, Alabama is just college football. I mean, I know they got this thing with the Spurrier and the boys came up with knowing Florida. Okay, I don't like them either, but I hate Alabama. And Tennessee fan base has a thing about the Alabama-Tennessee game. That game should never leave a college football schedule. And I don't care how good they think they are. Look, I've seen this thing. In recent years, it's been all Alabama. I've seen it go in stretches where it was all Tennessee. It's a streaky rivalry. It would be about Tennessee's luck that they'd come off the schedule, Saban retires, and they go to hell, and you don't get a piece of it. <laughs> that, that would be Tennessee luck. Marlon, very quickly, I don't have a lot of time for you gotcha. and Will, but what would you think if it came off the schedule? Uh, leave it on. What is it? Uh, you, you found out uh, what type of football team you are with that third week in October. Heck, I'm even frustrated that it's not the third week this yeah. week. <laughs> That's how much of traditions I am. I say stick. Leave it on. Well, uh, leave it on. If you want to get to where you want to go, you want to end up playing the best and be under the bright lights and be against the best. I mean, that's why 
recruits eventually are. We want those kinds of recruits that want to play Alabama and beat Alabama. I agree with all that. I love Daniel's answer, though. Okay, if you're trying to question, sell tickets, if, you, if you're just a straight, we got to get to a bowl game and we got to we got to put another win out there to get recruits. I understand that. I wouldn't do it, but I understand it. I think it's a good answer. I want to ask John P. a question. Uh oh. How did he ask all these defensive linemen about a running quarterback and he's got one here? Okay. Well, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how do you stop a running quarterback? You can't. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's why I didn't do it. All right. When we come back, we'll talk more about Bama and the Vols' next two foes, and we've still got the Cavalarius line. He's always right. Uh, we've still got that to come. We're coming back on the Sports Source.